This is the best Total War ever got. This is peak Total War right here. So I've got two small stacks. I've got French Marines. I've got Yugikitai Skirmishers. I've got Gatling Guns. I've got Armstrongs. I've got Shogatai. So I've tried to make a hybrid army here. I've combined the traditional, the old ways, with the modern. I tried to get... This is a peak endgame army basically. I've got 150 turns into a Jozai campaign, which I decided to play because I like the look of their Yugi tag, those ones there. They are light skirmishing infantry that stay hidden while they're firing on trees like sharpshooters. They're elite sharpshooters and I wanted to play a campaign because I've been playing a lot of Fall of the Samurai recently and I wanted to do something I haven't done in years. I don't think I did this since just after Fall of the Samurai came out and I torrented it and played it and then I finally bought it. Because I thought it was really good. But I remember in the the version I played, it was possible to get like 10 oh, units or 20 units attack, of French Marines. Like you could absolutely spam them and then they capped it, I think. I'm quite sure I'm remembering that right. But in this campaign, you're in a modern fully patched version of the game. You can only get three units of French Marines. So I've got them all on the field right now. And what I'm trying to do here is skirmish their cavalry with my light infantry from the trees while supporting my cavalry. I've even got a, a samurai hero so that is an homage to Shogun 2 right there. That is a samurai fighting traditionally on horseback. They've got bows, they've got katanas and they are really elite. They're the best of what remains of Bushido right there and they're really devastating. I'm trying to use them to snipe their cavalry which they can do. And this is the interesting thing. See this unit that's just totally obsolete? It's the only unit that can be extremely lethal at distance over a hill in this game while being safe. It's mobile because it's on horseback. So there are tasks that only this unit can do. Alright, so I need to get all of my artillery pieces onto these hills. This is my second try at this battle and I knew I had to get the hill, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to fight it and do really well because I've got everything set up. This is a late campaign. I've been playing a lot of Fall of the Samurai recently and I just wanted to get to the end game because it's been so long since I did and I've, I've managed it. I've got everything and it's just up to me to use it now. And this is the first chance I got to fight a proper pitched battle against a massive outnumbering force. I'm outnumbered like 4 to 1. But I do have much better units in my army. They don't have any Gatling guns. They've only got parrots. I think it's one unit of parrots. And of course I've got my Samurai Hero, my Elite Shogatai. Like I've got all of the... I've played the campaign pretty much perfectly. All of my units are almost as good as they can possibly be. My Shogatai have like 30 attack because I've just stacked everything that they're meant to be able to get. Even the foreign uh, veterans. I've got melee specialized ones for my Shogatai. And I've got gun specialized ones for my artillery pieces and my rifle infantry. So I've, I've laid out all of their cavalry pretty much in a massive graveyard in front of the forest. Largely thanks to my Yukikatai firing from the trees. So that's it almost. And it's great to watch the samurai hero firing and laying waste with only a small amount of arrows, but they each find their mark and they, they all kill something. Alright, so now I need to pull back. They're coming at me heavy on the right, but I know they've got loads of cavalry on the left, and that's the main threat that will prevent me from forming up. I've got positions on all the hills as I see fit. Here we go. Taking all the hills, Armstrong's right at the back, on the hills right at the very back, and then Gatling guns to the front because they need line of sight. Because they are a line of sight unit, they don't fire cannonballs at low velocity, they fire bullets, high rate fire. So I need to get the highest, most overlooking forward positions and set them up on it. And I'm running out of hell over there, so I go over here for the last one. And I've got positions and the trees on the left as well, but they have so much cavalry that will cause me a lot of problems. Alright, so I've got a new position on the trees on the right. I've got my marines backing them up. You're really encouraged to be aggressive with the Yugi Katai. It's great. 
They are really good at staying concealed, they're even faster than normal sharpshooters. So you can be aggressive with them, put them a bit further forward, and rely on them to be really precise with their fire. And it allows you to put your line infantry a little bit further astray. They don't need to rely as heavily on support. They're independent guerrilla marksmen. But I'm bringing my cavalry over to the right at the moment. Because I see they're coming at me. Alright, they're forming up now. So that's the position they're going to attack from. I need to pull back with my cavalry. I've got two generals. And there's my line infantry getting involved. And they have loads of cavalry in the trees coming for me. So I need to get ready to receive this charge. I've got my Shogatai at the back. I don't want to have to commit them. I don't have any spears or any melee cavalry. It's full on aggression here. No spears in this entire army. My fields of fire are really looking nice. They have a lot of line infantry opening up on me at the moment. And I'm looking really exposed on the left, so I need to com commit some of my Shogatai. Also, the line infantry are opening up onto my marines, which is really bad. These are really elite infantry. They can get, with all the extra ammo that they get from campaign conditions, they can get like 2,000 kills, 3,000 kills. It's ridiculous. With ideal play, that is. Right, I'm supporting my Yukitai in the trees with the Shogatai. That'll keep them alive, stop the unit getting wiped. Even my general is helping out at the moment with the revolvers. <laughs> you see how the modern technology of revolvers intervenes so decisively? Because when the cavalry charge through the line and they're all mixed in, they're so exposed with their high profile. And even a revolver cavalry general, a small general unit with revolvers can just pick them off. And I've got a unit of Shogatai that bans eye charge right into all of that. Right, so now they're, they're pretty much caught in the jaws at the moment. And I can now start deploying my batteries. Here we go. Alright, I saved my Yukikitai. Quarter strength. My marines are exposed, but now the artillery pieces can take over. Pulling back my Shogatai at the middle left. Pulling my general back because he's exposed. Continuing to get an aggressive flanking position on the right with the Yukikitai. And look at that. Their centre is getting eviscerated by Gatling gun fire from above. I see revolver cavalry firing from the trees. My, light, my uh, marines are devastating the middle with their immense firepower. Yeah, that revolver cavalry. But that's a group of five units of line infantry getting just eviscerated by Gatling guns there. And Armstrongs are joining in. And they're still coming. There's still more. But I'm now set up. Gatling guns. Even they have more ammo. And there's Gatling guns firing at the left into cavalry, revolver cavalry. And skirmishers. And marines. Oh, look at all of those. Oh man, that unit is instantly wavering. Alright, so there's all of my artillery set up just about. My marines are looking thin on the left, but I've got so much support. Look at that, they're just walking into a wall of bullets. Four batteries of Gatling guns. Or three. Three or four. And the Armstrongs are helping a lot. My Shogatai are in reserve. Two units of Shogatai in reserve. They've done really well. Manual fire. <laughs> Manual fire with Gatling guns to finish them. Sharpshooters taking point blank direct fire from an Armstrong. Battery as well. And look at them aiming at the end of the unit, the edges of the unit. See what I mean about polish? They should walk the fire over the unit. So many small things that this game needed. Oh my god, that was a thumbnail right there. Yep. So there is Fall of the Samurai. Before Rome 2 came along, this was the path we were on. That This is the path not taken, the road not walked. Look at how good we had it, and look at- and think about what we could have had in the intervening 11 years. My god, just had to show this, because this is 
a super late game for the samurai when ideally there would be a battle between the imperial forces and the shogunate and this stuff would all be getting involved and it would be so cool and you can do this like I'm doing it right now someone make a mod to make the artillery fire at the middle of units or just walk their shots all over them or fire them randomly just anything but aiming at the edges please <laughs> yeah. and look at that we've got almost everything left I could have probably fought a force two or three times bigger <laughs> alright see you next time If you like my work and want to support me then I have a Patreon page. I try to give out perks which includes monthly updates and a patron only discord. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington Paints, SJ Mage, Bader Nasser and Desync was here.